the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has threatened that the Nigerian government will show a red card to television and radio stations in the country for alleged breach of broadcast ethics. Mohammed made this statement while speaking with the news agency in Nigeria on Wednesday in Sal Island, Cap Verde. Sahara reporters had reported that the National Broadcasting Commission recently invited presenters of channel televisions and threatened to sanction the broadcast station over an interview with Benue State Governor Samuel Otto. The interview, which attracted, you know, attracted, pardon, a harsh reaction from the president, was considered to be against President Muhammad Buhari. The news agency of Nigeria reported the minister was said to be in Cap Verde to attend the 64th conference of the UN World Tourism Organization UNWTO Commission for Africa and the second edition of the UNWTO Global Tourism Investment Forum. Speaking on the sideline of the global events, the minister also warned the media, particularly radios and television stations, to abide by broadcast codes and other regulations guiding them. In the last few weeks, the country has been awash, especially from the broadcast media with very incendiary realtic which has created a sort of panic in Nigeria. The incendiary wreck that comes from political, religious leaders and some opinion modelers have the capacity to set the country on fire. This is because the real trick is pitting one ethnic group and religion against the other and overeating the polity. A serious counsel to stakeholders is that they should understand and remember that leadership comes with a lot of responsibilities. Turn down the hateful Reotric because they are harmful for the country. They should remember that every war is preceded by this kind of mindless rhetoric, especially when it comes from otherwise responsible person or people who the people have the tendency to have or take seriously, Mohammed said. He said, the cacophony or the cacophony of hate and conflicting stories from various radio stations and online publications in recent weeks were capable of causing panic for that divided the country along religious and ethnic lines. The minister said the National Broadcasting Commission and other regulators would ensure that broadcast stations abide by statutory laws and ethics. He said, any station that violated the broadcast code and ethics will be shown the red card. We agree that there are challenges, but the government is doing its best in addressing insecurity, banditry, insurrection, and fixing the economy. What one expected from these leaders at this trying period is support and encouragement. It is, however, quite disturbing that they have thrown caution to the wind and it is no longer about leadership and maturity, but about who can see something that can break this country. Certain words that we are afraid you know, that we were afraid of using before, such as genocide and ethnic cleansing are now taking over the media waves. That is why it is important to call everybody to order 
to appeal to their sense of patriotism that they should understand that because there is a country called Nigeria, that is why they are leaders. If what they are praying for happens, they will no longer be leaders but servants in other countries. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this pain situation? Obviously, we have been hearing some hate word like genocide, ethnic cleansing that is now failing used in Nigeria according to what Lai Mohammed have said. According to the Minister of Information and Culture, he has threatened that the nation, that is the Nigerian government, will show a red card to television and radio stations in the country for alleged breach of broadcast ethics. The minister said the National Broadcasting Commission and other regulators will ensure that broadcast stations abide by statutory laws and ethics. What is your thought about this? We would like you to drop your own thoughts and reaction via the comment section on this that has been said. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Henry Oyema Uchechuku reacted to this and said, this man should be dealt with, with all the killings happening in Nigeria. Tell me, what should it be called? You know, we have had a bad series of attacks happening in Nigeria. Now, as a citizen of Nigeria, all those killings, kidnappings, and all this act of terrorism and insecurity bedeviling the country, what do you think it should be called? According to Lai Mohammed, he said, it is an aged speech of which is not supposed to be used in the country. You know, you could recall what happened that led to the Twitter ban in Nigeria. It was as a result of what the president has said that was against the terms and conditions, the norms of Twitter that led to the Twitter, you know, deleting the message. And that was what led to the Twitter ban in Nigeria. And we are still on it presently. So, it shows that even this hate speech is common even among the leaders of Nigeria and according to what has been said, that looking at this present situation, looking at the killings happening, what should it be called? Victoria Bakosi also reacted and said, These are not hate words, sir. They are words used to describe actions or incidents. Okay, what would you call 30 villages burnt down? indigenous people killed the remaining ones run away and as we speak they are in refugee camps tell me what do you call this is there any reason why nigeria should be in a refugee camps in what is supposed to be a time of peace what is your thought about this we have heard what victoria have said that in a situation whereby 30 villages are burnt down what do you call that you know incident what do you call that instance according to victoria i said these are not hate words but they are words used to describe actions or incidents what is your thought about this we have seen what people have been saying concerning the present situation looking at their reaction it shows that people are not well pleased with what Lai Mohammed have said that the media houses the radio and television stations are using hate speech that is against the code and the ethics of which people are going against that if it is not an hate speech then what is it if you don't want to call it hate speech then give us another word of which we can call it we would like you to drop your thought on this what is your thought about the spend situation don't forget that hate words like genocide ethnic cleansing are now freely used in Nigeria according to Lai Mohammed, of which people have said, you know, some people have said in their own reaction and thought that it is not, you know, a hate word, but it is just a word used to describe incidents. Looking at a situation whereby 30 villages are reached down, tell me what do you call that incident? I would like you to drop your thoughts on this. I would like you to share your own reaction via the comment section on this pain situation. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.